only 67 degrees right now. I'm freezing. This is what living in Phoenix will do to you. Oh, it's cold. 67 degrees. I'm shivering. It's ridiculous. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm currently in Milwaukee after a red-eye flight from Phoenix. I need to get into the city <sighs> but the, to get a rental car, but the rental car agency doesn't open until 8 a.m. Right now I'm debating whether I want to just take a nap, like right here, or get on a bus and go into the city. Excuse me, do you know if the bus, the bus station is close by, like walking distance? Um, yeah, the bus picks up um, just right outside. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. You're Appreciate welcome. it. About a 20 minute bus ride from Milwaukee Airport. I'm heading to downtown now. It's about six o'clock. There she is. Alexis just drove from Minneapolis to, uh, where am I at? Milwaukee area. We are out here at the property, lake back there, house over there, and all through here are tents. What's Lex, what's the, what's the lady's story again? She, uh... Stem something? She had a stem cell. Which I don't really know what that is transfusion or something well she almost passed away last year she wasn't supposed to be alive right now but she beat it so we're that's celebrating cool. her rebirth that's cool yeah i don't know how that science stuff works but it's crazy but we know <laughs> yeah. glamping so we can do that part yeah. but that's cool so. <laughs> luggage racks to the ceiling we got 50 of those hopefully lex didn't grab the right amount of tents good thing, um, good thing it's the right amount. good thing uh, so i asked for extra <laughs> <laughs> I, I said two extra and that was the <laughs> She was too short on her original count. So now that we're actually, we're, we're perfect. Uh, luggage racks here, hopefully there's 50 of those. Bed frames, hopefully there's 50 of those. Rugs, more than enough of those. Too many. All the beds in the back, pillows. This is all gonna get strung up with lights all the way down. We got this really beautiful driveway here. You know, the string lights kind of all the way down. Light the way for the glamping. All the tents are out. I got this crazy headache. Yeah? Yeah. Are you dehydrated? No, I, I've been doing like a cup or two cups of coffee a day. Oh, didn't have so any got today. I got a caffeine, I got uh, a caffeine headache. Yeah, been there. I remember when I was a kid and I got those. You were a kid and you were drinking caffeine? What the no, heck? Make it a joke because I've been addicted to caffeine for like You have years. been. You, you are. <laughs> functioning. Barely, but functioning. Progress. All the tents are up. We've got this guy right here going and delivering up some restrooms. These are like porta potties, except they are they have a basin of water and they flush like a normal restroom, but they're fully off grid, so they could you can just deliver them anywhere. They don't need power. They don't need to get connected to water. So it's pretty cool um, just for a functional sake of using the restrooms. Uh, let's see, I'll show you inside one of the tents, which is, I believe, mostly done. Inside is our pretty standard event setup for two guests. It's got luggage rack here to put your luggage and then shoe rack on the bottom. A side table to put your water, your phone, charge your phone with the battery bank. It's got a little fan, a memory foam queen bed, a lantern over there, and then another luggage rack over here. So I'm trying something new with this event, but we came across a company, hires out short-term support, event assistance, um, any kind of like short-term gig work. Hired a handful of people to come help with this event, and it's been an interesting experience. I will say that the people that did show up have been amazing to work with. Um, what would take me and my team 
like a full day is taking us like five hours. So um, I am really happy with that. Um, there are some things that I'm not happy with with the platform, but overall we are cranking out work like we haven't ever before and it's I'm really quite happy with that. We are done. We are done with this whole arrangement here. Actually what we did was we transformed this property's driveway into a fully functioning camp. Uh, about 50 people that are coming out to this house going to be able to enjoy their time at the property. There's a lake in the front of the house. They're going to have to go out in the water, drink, have a good time, and then not have to worry about driving home, Ubering home, all that good stuff. They can just come they can just stay at the house and crash. I'll give you a walkthrough tour of what everything looks like now. That is it for now, uh, until Saturday. We, these are gonna be up for just two nights. The guests are only gonna occupy them for one night, but uh, they're, these are, we're all done until Saturday, where our whole team is just gonna come on again and uh, take everything down. So that is the wrap up of this event. Go for a run. Oops. It is Saturday and it is now time for me and the crew to start taking down all the tents that we just set up two days ago. Before we go, I wanted to get a snack. Um, and this is not a healthy snack, so I'm not overly proud of eating this snack, but these are delicious. Um, and I'll tell you why these specific snacks are delicious. They're in these, this silver wrapping, so I'm, I'm guessing you probably know what these are. But specifically, these are the, these are the brown sugar cinnamon um, uh, Pop-Tarts from Aldi. So they're like the knockoff brand. I don't have the box, but um, I just wanted to point something out uh, that the frosting here is incredibly smooth, but also look at how close to the edges that the frosting gets. Like on Pop-Tarts, like, heck, I have a puppet right here. Let's see. Whoa, just dropped it. Look at how, look at this. You see, look at all this, this versus, versus this. You see, this is this makes all the difference in the quality of a pop tart. So, yeah, they're probably they're probably not made with as quality ingredients. But at the same time, when you get a pop tart, you're not looking for quality ingredients. You're looking for a quick pop tart. So, yeah, that's my case. Aldi pop tarts, much better. We are all wrapped up. No more tents. We're all done with the event. Now, what in the world? It's like seagulls. Went really smooth. Uh, we, with that, I used that gig platform for hiring people to do for gigs and it went surprisingly really good. Uh, every, everybody that showed up was like hardworking, ready to go. Uh, good attitude and I did get one really weird text um, <laughs> around 9 30 at night from one of the guys after the first shift uh, yeah so that was a little weird um, but for the I don't know if that was like an accident I'm guessing it was but still a little bit weird uh, oops but yeah uh, everything went really smooth